We bought the Bissell Pet Hair Eraser Turbo and the Shark NB752 Rotator. And we thought that the Shark was gonna dominate in this competition, but actually, after our objective testing, we found they both had some pluses and a couple of big minuses. The Bissell Pet Hair Eraser Turbo and the Shark NB752 Rotator are both highly rated vacuums on Amazon. They're both corded upright vacuums that are supposed to be effective on pet hair. We tested for suction, airflow, anti-tangle, and the Bissell was much better than the Shark in that area, but in one area that really matters, filtration, the Bissell, it didn't do so good. Our goal is to help you buy the best vacuum for your budget and situation. Let's get into the details. We tested both vacuums with our standard set of tests, but we modified it for pet hair. We tested pickup by putting 40 grams of sand down on both hardwood and on carpet. On hardwood, both vacuums picked up 100% of the material. On carpet, however, the Bissell picked up 93%, but the Shark picked up 95, plus one for the Shark. They both have some pretty standard attachments, including a pet hair tool for each of them. We're gonna test that later, but the Bissell does have an LED crevice tool, which I haven't seen in too many vacuums before. In both their airflow tests, they scored very high, meaning they exceeded the capacity of our airflow gauge. And that also means they had a wind speed of over 100 miles an hour. Pretty hmm. good. But you know what? Airflow isn't the only thing that matters. That's right, Eric, because we also care about its suction. If a vacuum doesn't suck, it's not doing its job. The Shark performed 20% higher than the Bissell at 24 kPa compared to 20 kPa on the Bissell. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> However, it's the combination of the suction and the airflow together that makes a good vacuum in our experience. Yeah, getting that pet hair. But you know what? Suction at the wand is only one part of your vacuum experience. Vacuum experience. Now, as I was saying before, you probably spend more of your time vacuuming with the head. So we tested airflow at the head as well. And they were both actually quite similar. The Bissell scored 21.5 meters per second and the Shark was 22.9 meters per second. So not much difference there. However, there is a pretty significant difference in the head design and the way they work on hardwood. Yes, if you are vacuuming on hardwood, we have found that the Shark performs really, really well. However, the Bissell tends to kick things back a bit. It threw a lot of sand back here at kind of high speed. You got the head rotating, you got some sand on the floor, and it just kicks back. It's kind of like my cats with the litter box. Great if you're a cat, not so good if you're a human and you want to have a clean floor. But now, the most entertaining test, the Mega Pickup Test. So we talked about the differences between the normal head that you can use on the floor. What about the pet hair tools? Was there a difference? So both of them come with pretty similar looking pet hair tools. They both work with airflow coming from the vacuum to spin the brush in them. Now, I did notice that the shark has a bit of a difficult time on surfaces like our cat condos as it would sort of get stuck and the airflow wasn't as good. It sort of got clogged, but how did the Bissell do? So the Bissell actually was the big surprise here because the head for the floor isn't that good, but on the cat condos, it's actually really good. The head kept rotating. It didn't stop like it did with the shark and it actually seemed to be pretty anti-tangle. So it actually did a much better job on pet hair on the condos than the shark. So another point for the Bissell. It's kind of close so far. But you don't vacuum with data. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. You vacuum in the real world, hopefully with vacuums. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where some of the differences come in usability. So the one thing that I don't like about this Bissell in particular is the fact that the wand is not detachable like the Shark Rotator where you could put any attachment on the end up here. You actually have to use the whole wand no matter what. Now, the other major difference we noticed had to do with when you have to vacuum under beds. With the Shark, you have this lift away technology that allows you to remove the canister away from the wand and the head of the vacuum, which allows for easy access under your bed, which is super convenient. Now, with the Bissell, we noticed that it doesn't have this feature and its fat body sort of gets stuck. The canister on both of them is actually a pretty similar size, although it is bigger on the Shark. And if you're vacuuming more of your house, that's gonna be more convenient. But otherwise, I think the canister is big enough on the Bissell. And emptying is pretty similar. They both have a release lever on the body. The only difference is with the Shark, you have two of those, one on top and one on bottom. Now, both vacuums are marketed as being for 
pets. <laughs> so we do our standard smoke test to see if these are really good at catching those allergens. You know, sharks are supposed to be completely sealed and the Bissell has a very specific filter. It's called the Smart Seal Allergen System. And what it says on the website is it's supposed to trap fine particles and allergens inside the vacuum. And so our smoke test is designed to produce particles that are very, very small down to just a couple microns. And the shark passed the test with flying colors. All the smoke stayed inside of the canister. Whereas the Bissell, it's kind of like a chimney. It's just like shooting out of there like a waterfall of smoke and presumably all those allergens are just going to go right back into your room. So I don't know how many microns it's supposed to trap these particles down to, but it doesn't really pass our smoke test and I think that's a problem. But what everybody's wondering, Eric, is okay, how well do these things really pick up pet hair and are they anti-tangle like they say they are? I thought people were really wondering, did I pass the male modeling competition this week? And of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> so they actually are both pretty effective at picking up pet hair, getting it off your carpet, but when it comes time to clean the head, one of them performed really well and one of them didn't. And I bet you can't guess which one did better. With the Bissell, I was really surprised. It was able to clear all of the dog hair, all of the six inch hair, and it tingled only a little bit of the 14 inch rave hair, which granted <laughs> is very hard to detangle. And the shark, it didn't do so good. It actually failed the detangling the pet hair test. Epic tangles on the dog hair. <laughs> didn't do good on the six inch test and it didn't do well on the 13 inch test either. Basically it failed all of them. So <laughs> it's gonna get the hair off your carpet, but it's gonna get stuck on the head. And I think that's not what you want really for a pet hair vacuum. Both of these vacuums seem to be pretty well constructed. The plastics are pretty solid. I like the way they're both built. So in terms of usability, I think overall the Shark was better, but there's one area where the Bissell was a lot better. Yes, a lot of times you get frustrated with upright corded vacuums because you have to unwind and then rewind the cord. But with the Bissell, it has a really unique feature where it is self-retractable, which you don't find normally in upright vacuums. So that feature is definitely a bonus for that. At about the same price point, I think these are both pretty good vacuums. They got their pluses and minuses, but there's really one area where the Shark does so much better. Yes, and that is filtration or smoke test. It had completely sealed filtration and the hair eraser said that it has a specific allergen seal, but it didn't really work well at our test. However, in another important test, anti-tangle, the Bissell just outperformed. But it tended to kick hair back on hardwood surfaces. So if you've got a lot of carpet, I think it's pretty good, but the Shark is gonna be better on hardwood. So at the end of the day, we're gonna leave it up to you. There are links in the description down below. Thanks for nerding out with us. Subscribe and subscribe.